Good morning, athletes. Happy Tidbit Tuesday. I'm Jenny, one of the coaches and nutritionists here, and I just wanted to talk to you before the 4th of July because the 4th of July is like one of my favorite holidays. In my family growing up, it is it was probably a holiday that is more important than Christmas or any other holiday in the year. And that's because our family would always run the fireworks shows and we would, you know, do the behind the scenes stuff with these big explosives and it was so much fun for us but one thing about the 4th of July that I remember growing that I remember as a kid is that we would go to this festival called Firefall and it was basically an entire day where you bring a big cooler a giant blanket a tent and you set it up on this field and you wait until the fireworks happen now what our family would do is we would bring our own food we'd have you know sandwiches and chips and and Cheetos and all of those different delightful things but then there would also be the early days of food trucks so funnel cakes ice cream uh like pineapple whip this hula girl that was basically ice cream but way better and it was always a treat to get one item from a food truck and then have our snacks throughout the day you're sitting in the heat and it's just fun so thinking that through with the upcoming holiday i don't think that there's anything anything wrong with doing that i think those days Whenever we get them, we want them to be special. And so enjoying those items is absolutely fine. But as an adult now, I think, wow, we have a lot of those, I we have a lot of those special events though. And are they really that special anymore because we do them all the time? Now, 4th of July, yes, it's once a year. That can be special. But how often are we going out to eat multiple times in the week? How many times are we having friends visit or we have a pool party or things like that? Our, our special events end up being more often than really makes them special anymore. So if you're thinking about this from a nutrition and diet standpoint, we have to think how often are we doing these special behaviors are they special anymore? Are they holding us back from our goals? Is there another approach that we can make in these moments and in these events that can balance our goals a little bit better while still giving us that feeling of this is a great event? So for me, I tend to avoid the sweets, the sugary drinks, and the alcohols now. Just she says avoid them all together. Yeah, she's a little bit of a, a bossy buzz. Um, anyways. I just want you to think about how often are we doing these special things and are they really special to us? Are they hurting our progress? Can we look at it from a different standpoint in order to get the, to get the joy from the event but not get the uh, too many calories or negatives that we end up with? As always, thank you for listening to my tidbit and to my daughter as she's yelling at us about things. And if you guys need anything, you just... Ask any of us coaches, we'd be happy to help you. And happy 4th of July.